हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वर्ल्ड ऑफ फिजिक्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेज ऑफ चार्जिंग दिस इज मेनली ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स फर्स्ट इज चार्जिंग बाय कंडक्शन सेकंड चार्जिंग बाय इंडक्शन एंड थर्ड वन इज चार्जिंग बाय फ्रिक्शन सो स्टार्ट विद द वेरी फर्स्ट मेथड ऑफ चार्जिंग व्हिच इज चार्जिंग बाय कंडक्शन कंडक्शन जस्ट मींस दैट टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स विल कम इनटू एक्चुअल फिजिकल कांटेक्ट व्हिच मींस टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर टचिंग डायरेक्टली विद ईच अदर to understand the charging by conduction we can perform an activity let's assume we have a negatively charged metal object and an uncharged metal object they are similar object and each on insulating stand so that we can move them around without them interacting with anything else if we bring the two objects close to each other we will see a separation of charges happen in the neutral object as negative electrons are repelled to the right hand side at this time they are not touching and no charge have been transferred if we allow the object to touch some of the negative charge will transfer over the uncharged metal object this happens since the negative charge on the first object are repelling each other by moving on to the second they spread away from each other now we can separate them and they both have same negative charge because they are made of same materials and same in size it means that a negative object causes a negative charge on the other object it is the charging by conduction and the second method of charging is charging by induction the process of charging without contact is called induction let's assume we have a neutral metal object on an insulating stand If a positively charged load is brought near the metal object placed on a insulating stand we will see polarization of charges happen in the metal object due to positively charged load the negative charge is polarized on the positive charged load's side but not on them and positive charges on opposite side when we ground the metal object the positive charge is neutralized by the electrons coming from the ground the sphere is grounded so that negative charge remains on the sphere and positive charge can escape from the metal sphere now the metal sphere become negatively charged due to neutralization of positive charge first we remove the grounding or disconnect the whole thing then remove the positive charge load it means that a positive object causes a negative charge in the induction that is the charging by induction now we move to third method of charging which is charging by friction friction when two bodies are rubbing with each other when two neutral bodies are rubbed with each other one of them is being positively and another is negatively charged to understand the reason of getting positive or negative charge on a body we can use electrostatic series in this electrostatic series when we move down to the series the tendency to lose electron will increase and when we move up to the series the tendency to hold electron will increase when we take any two objects from the series and rub them the object which is upper in the series will become negatively charged and it is because they can hold electron strongly similarly the object which is down in the series will become positively charged because it can't hold electron strongly example of friction are rub a piece of ebonite across a piece of the animal fur the fur doesn't hold its electron as strong as ebonite so some of electrons from the fur ripped off the fur and stay on the ebonite now fur has the slightly positive charge because it lost its electron and ebonite has slightly negative because it gain of electron the net charge is still zero before and after the process we can take another example of friction when we rub a glass sword with a piece of silk the same sort of situation as the ebonite and fur in this case silk hold electron more strongly as compared to glass sword electrons ripped off of the glass sword and go to the silk silk become negatively and glass is positively charged behind the both of them only one reason is that when we rub two things or object by the moment of them kinetic energy is developed and it will convert into thermal energy which means it converts fur to heat due to this thermal energy electrons 
are ionized and they move from one object to another according to the shape size and material of the object this is the charging by friction so we have discussed three methods of charging and i hope it is clear to you Thank you.